Welcome back to Infanity. I'm Lisa Joyner, and this time we're on the set of Two and a Half Men. The first time, uh, uh, actually, the first time she came to interview us, uh, uh, we had only been on a few dates yes. at that point. We were so I was undercover. very, yes, I was very uncomfortable and, and I couldn't look her in the eye and was sort of trying to flirt just a little. <laughs> Everybody needs a fan. It's Infanity <laughs> back here at Two and a Half Men. So if you would show me around now as. As man and wife. Yeah, I think I think our set tour will be a little different now that we're married. Okay. Let's okay, let's go. So this is the uh, the two and a half men kitchen uh -huh. with the uh, fantastic uh, two and a half men uh, refrigerator uh, filled with actual real food. It's all processed crap, honey. What have I told you about that? Oh, baby, I love it that you that you care about me. Okay. Um, so, uh, the coffee maker, I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've noticed on the show we drink an awful lot of coffee. Oh my gosh, you yeah, do. We're I'm always worried coming about the over intake. and putting in the coffee. That's usually Diet Coke. Just a little, uh, little tidbit for you. Diet Coke. Yes. Okay. And there's, uh, there's real food in the cabinets. Oh, so really? Yeah. Crackers, cookies, stuff like that. Wow. Granny's big fudge nuggets. Check it out. <laughs> is that a real cookie? That is not a real cookie, actually. <laughs> Baby, you're a real cookie. <laughs> Where were it's just we? like at home. Yeah. Here is the fabulous two and a half men deck. This is the nighttime uh, scrim, but they uh, they uh, the, we have a daytime as well. Case to say scrim. Uh, scrim is a is a big hangy thing. What's next? What's uh, bedroom. No. <laughs> <laughs> so here's our beautiful living room. Now this, uh, our uh, um, set has often been mistaken for the uh, Laverne and Shirley set. You know, late in the in the year when, uh, late in the, really? in the series run when they moved to California. Huh? Huh? It kind of does look like it. Uh, it looks yeah. like the Laverne and Shirley but it's not. set. But it's not. Got a, a picture of uh, young Charlie Sheen. Um, don't know what was going through his mind when this was happening. I think this was his uh, his uh, year trying to be a magician. Okay. Um, this is our, our TV viewing area. And then many, uh, many scenes in the show are just sort of, mm -hmm. are of you guys going like this. Yes. They call those scenes bird on a wire scenes, where people are just sort of sitting next to each other and talking like two birds sitting on a wire uh, exactly next to each other. Mm -hmm. They're hilarious. Really, they are. People tune in every week to watch Two and a Half Men. But now it's time to go behind the scenes and show you what only Infanity can. The show may be called Two and a Half Men, but there's a million set secrets. Here's just a few. I thought for the first season it was always kind of cool when I looked out and saw the, the, you know, the plants and the trees on the deck moving. And then the second season I discovered a guy back there with a string. Moving them. So here's our beautiful living room mm -hmm. with our gorgeous uh, piano that, at this moment, actually plays music. <laughs> Most of the time, there's a big blanket in there so that it doesn't make any actual noise. Oh, really? So if you clank on it, then you don't hear anything? You don't hear anything. And because, uh, very importantly, uh, Charlie Sheen doesn't actually play the piano. <laughs> uh, but he is actually an ace at faking it. Something else I bet you didn't know? Angus and Conchata, they're total gamers. We got to know each other over Zelda, over <laughs> the game Zelda. So. I wouldn't have expected that. I, are, are you, um, uh, can you beat him in Halo 3? No, Not no, yet. but I but I can skin him in Zelda. Oh. <laughs> She's very good at Zelda. She's better at me at Zelda. Another cool secret, sometimes these guys cheat. If you ever see us on the phone mm -hmm. in a scene, we are actually talking on the phone to this guy, Jim, who's feeding us the lines. You'd be amazed how well this works. So, folks, we're cheating when you see us talking on the phone. 
That is something I learned from Charlie Sheen. Actually, they do take great pains to uh, make the ocean look realistic. That is not just because of the fan, and that is not just because of this here thing, because this is a still photograph. How do we do the magic? How? Oh, come this way. Okay. It's little rotating lights. Like oh, 80 of them. Man. See, all these lights hit the, the back here, and they rotate. That's awesome. And they make it look like waves. But the most impressive thing here... Double jointed crew guys. Sam, the catering guy, can do the splits. Sam, the craft service guy, yes. the splits. <laughs> this is news to me. I have to see this now. Sam, Sam, I am can do splits. I'll pay cash money to see that. And that ends our exclusive set visit to the hit show Two and a Half Men. I'm Lisa Joyner. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.